Okay guys, I hope that you are doing well. So we are today working on pricing calculator with FedEx API integration. So we have three modules in this uh, process. First one is to calculate the cost of good based on the input values from uh, input tab and then comparing or getting the multiplier from the setup sheet. Second is to calculate US shipping that will be using the kilogram and it also includes some if else statement based on the the size of the product and, uh, and, and other dimensions. So third one is US to US calculation that involves the FedEx.com API, uh, build, uh, which you can see here. So this is the FedEx uh, website where we'll use the from address, the seller and the recipient address. And then there are some packaging details and weight and dimensions and stuff like that. So we have, uh, once we query that, we'll have these shipping rates. So let's get back here. So let's see the input tab. We have different values here, uh, product name, state, uh, type, thickness, and the cost of good. That will be our first uh, column that we'll be generating against uh, every row. And uh, US shipping is our second column that will be generating uh, the values against uh, every row. And US to US will be using the FedEx API that I've just shown to you. OK, let, let's just. Uh, let me give you an overview of the script, what's happening behind the scenes. Uh, first of all, when we open the spreadsheet, it creates a menu, calculate pricing, that's here. So when uh, we have also given calculate now option to it, when we click on calculate now option, it would run calculate pricing function, which in that function we have already predefined all the values. The first one, cost of good calculation, will be using the product length, width, inch, and type thickness. And based on these, we will be getting the multipliers from the setup tab sheet, where we'll have values, LED, RGB, and uh, different kind of uh, multipliers for every value from the input sheet, like you can see here, LED, RGB, UV print, and then the thickness, and UV thickness, and simple thickness. So we have got our cost of good calculation, then we'll have US shipping calculation, which will be using our product kilogram, with centimeter, height centimeter, and that involves a little if else statement that will be checking if the centimeter, if the width centimeter is greater than 120 or uh, or product uh, weight is greater than 20, then we'll, then we'll be using a different value multiplier from the setup field, that is I11, and based on that. So we have uh, also got our value here. So the third module is US to US shipping. That was a bit of a challenge uh, because uh, we, uh, FedEx also provides their API. So we have just uh, developed something out of the box, not using their API. We have used some front-end techniques from the same URL. So here's the code for that. And based on our input, city, zip code, state, and whatever I've just shown you, that it requires these values, this, and this, and this. So it's all we have given here. And then the return value is parsed. And uh, we generate it here. Let's just take run it. OK, so first thing I also want to mention is that it's, you can see there's an if statement here, which uh, equals it checks against the x value. So that x value is basically whenever you run this, it will only run uh, if the column, if the row has an x value. So let me just do this and let us run it. Okay, it calculates. I just want to drag it to here so we say there is values populating. Okay, so let's see. Yes, it's working. Great. So just to show you the $88 value from the FedEx API, we have done the query against the Florida, Miami, and this zip code, and uh, Florida, Miami zip code. From address will always remain the same, so we have we are grabbing the lowest values from the shipment. So 88 it is, and here we have. Idiot. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye.